Hi everyone, it's Bobby here from B Munchy. So one of the questions I always get asked is what will be required whilst I'm getting my website built? Um, so today I'm going to go through a few of the things that may come up whilst you're getting your own website built uh, for your own business or something that you may be doing yourself. Um, so a few of the things to think about whilst in that process from start to finish, um, whether that be from getting your business logo started all the way up until getting your website live and having your domain name purchased. So let's get into it right now. Hi everyone, so let's get into it. Um, so firstly, something that might sound quite small would be your logo. Um, straight away for your business logo would be the colors that come off of the logo. So to give you an example, here is a website we created, uh, which was for treasuryfirst.com. You'll notice the logo in the top left um, and the font that are used throughout the website um, in terms of the colors is actually matching the website um, and the logo as well, sorry. In terms of the actual buttons as well, we've actually kept them and incorporated them throughout the site as well, which are gained from the actual logo. And the main title tag, title text as well comes from the logo. Another example would be for a removal company that we created a website, uh, which was Monarch Removals. You'll notice again, it's got the gold and black text. The website has got the gold bar for the menu. Um, straight underneath, it's got the gold strip with the black text in place. The contact form as well has got gold around it, just to give it the overall gold feeling really. Um, same with the text that comes in place here. It's all in gold. So again, it's matching the overall brand for this website as well. Um, and straight to the footer, we've got a white logo in place in order with the actual text to break it up a little bit throughout the design. Um, in terms of the actual next step, I would suggest once you've got your logo and your colors, once you've got your logos and the colors sorted for your site, um, would be your content and the layouts of the website itself. So straight away, you can see on Monarch Removals whilst we're on it, um, it's got a slideshow at the top and then it's a bit more of a boxed layout. Whereas if we go to a few other sites that we've actually created, so one could be Treasury First, you'll notice it's split, there's no slideshow in place. Um, we've broke it down in terms of sections again, so you'll notice there's a section here. Um, then there's another one with three boxes, for example, with the text in place, and then the read more buttons for clear navigation. So another site that we created was Med School Masters. You'll notice the layouts, are, again, completely different, um, as well as the content that's been put in place. So straight away, you've got animations in place, um, along with the colors, again, coming through the logo, matching throughout again, to give it that consistency um, throughout the entire design. Straight away, again, you'll notice the layouts of the page. I've got different highlighted sections and waves throughout, just to break it up and give it that overall different design, really. Um, and to give you another idea in terms of an e-commerce layout, of two different styles of sites. One is um, the one that we've done for one, one BLW. It's kept quite clean and simple. Um, and you'll notice all the boxes and so on are kept throughout the same. In terms of the actual logo, it's sort of a grayscaled logo where the buttons are matching from it as well. Um, and to give you an idea of a completely different site, which is an e-commerce store that we created, it's for kitchens for you. The logo's in a green. There's a bit more color on the site, making it a bit more vibrant. Um, more sections on the site overall. Reviews in place. And then content that's in place as well. Um, and straight away, you've got products in place over here. And as you hover on them, they change images to the main images as well for the company. Um, to give you an idea for a, a bit more of a corporate feel of a style of website would be um, Jan Manuel that we created, which is for business immigration, uh, a law firm. As you scroll down again, it's kept quite simple. We've added it rather than having the generic going across for steps, we've made it go down. Um, and you'll notice the little animation in place as the um, ticks are in black, but the bar also changes from gold to black, 
And that actually matches throughout with the logo again that we actually designed for this company. Um, and as you scroll down, you'll notice the sections are built out a lot more cleaner and simpler. Another website which was a bit more clean and simple is for a healthcare company, uh, UB Healthcare. You'll notice in terms of the layout of this website and the way everything's positioned is in more cleaner sections. And then as you scroll down, you've got your contact form. Um, the logo for UB Healthcare, I believe, was already provided to ourselves um, throughout the process right away. Um, and then lastly, the last sort of main thing that you'd want to think about whilst in the process of getting your site built would be any functionality. So whether the, you're looking to get anything built in terms of a third party plugin built into the site, such as API integrations, where you want to fetch data from a supplier, for example, for an e-commerce website or data entry service site, um, or whether you're looking to get booking functionalities put onto the site um, in terms of booking forms for services that you're offering, um, which can be, for example, what we've done here for Pink Block um, was different hot tub hire packages. So as you scroll down, you can essentially get a quote on one of the packages that you prefer. And straight away, you can add in the details for that quote, um, the dates. So, for example, you can add in a quote, um, add in any other extra pieces you want, images as well to display what these sections would be just to help the user overall. Um, you can have them as a different type of functionality. You could have sections on the site where you've got third party links going to different start, different links such as register platforms and so on or event booking platforms such as eventbrite and so on if needed um, that wouldn't be classed as much of a functionality that's just a separate third party link um, and that would be another thing that you'd want to be thinking of if there's anything else or if you're looking to do like a beauty salon for example um, and allow customers to book through there um, or if you've got a fitness website and you want to allow customers to book on the website or register for classes, for example. So to give you an idea, one that we've done for Albor's Fitness, where you can book a session. And in order to book a session onto the website, you'd need to create your filling the health questionnaire form first. Once you've filled that in, you can then get access to the timetable and select the bookings that you'd like to make once your logins have been given and shared through Albor's um, on the back end directly to yourself on your email and then you can log into your my account area um, over here and then once you've logged in you'll be able to go in and actually sign up and uh, request bookings that you'd like to make throughout the website for example you could click on the 31st and it will show you where you can book but you have to be a member in order to do this so it will tell you to welcome and sign back in um, and again you've got social media in place which is something we'd always recommend to having on all websites um, just to give a link towards your social media and um, a link back from your social media over to uh, the actual business site. Um, don't forget to follow our social media as well um, where we do provide more tips and so on. But yeah, these are the main sort of things just to recover, uh, recap on everything. Um, it will be a low, you want to focus on your logo your business colours that you'd like to use throughout the website as well or have thoughts of them or any ideas and then the content and the design layout of how you'd want things positioned throughout the site and how you'd want it to look on a mobile as well as a tablet as well as a desktop maybe and functionality and that's something we can obviously help you with throughout the process and journey and if you'd like us to review over your website and see how friendly it is for user experience or have any questions for us put anything in the comments below and we'll be happy to help Hi guys, so now that's finished, um, let us know your thoughts down below. Um, let me know if you've got any questions as well in the comments. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn your bell notifications on to get notified when we upload more. Thanks for watching.